So there's, there's two parts to this um, that I wanted to mention. One part is that... Uh, is that the narrative is not shifted. So what this means is basically the the government, it's like a big power move for the government because mm -hmm. they have fucked up society so much to this point that they can just say, all right, we're not going to enforce it anymore. We're just going to watch here and watch you do it to yourself because that's what's happening, right? Some businesses will still enforce it. Yeah. The institutions will still enforce it. The corporations will still enforce it because... It's like a, almost, uh, you know, you're considered a higher institution or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, you're considered more um, privileged or more prestigious. That's the word. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are implementing these things because everybody who goes to university is clean and COVID free, whatever, whatever they're advocating for. Right. And so because the narrative is not shifted, it doesn't matter if it's mandated or not because the people will do it to themselves. And that's exactly what's happening is they'll take away these things, but you're still gonna have people enforcing masks, right? Especially if you go to a clinic or a dental appointment. Imagine coming into a dental appointment, you have to wear a mask and then you just sit down with your mouth wide open as they're working on you. <laughs> that's happened like, to me before. <laughs> it's the dumbest thing I've ever heard, but they're still doing it for the, the COVID theater, right? And it's going to continue to happen unless the narrative has changed. And how do you shift to the narrative? Well, you have to get involved with communities like CSUN. You have to get involved with communities that are completely rejecting this narrative and living life like 2019. Mm -hmm. Right. So you have to show the normalcy. This is the normal way to go. And you have to lead by example, get involved and get get going on different organizations that are supporting this sort of narrative. And quite frankly, there are many organizations doing that, especially in Ontario, um, as, as most organizations are still trying to weave their way around and do, you know, exemptions and lawsuits and all of this. Oh, yeah. But lawsuits not going to help you because the narrative's not changed, mm -hmm. right? People's minds like, aren't changed. People's minds aren't People changed. People want these restrictions like there's this whole notion you mentioned this briefly of like you know when the mask mandate ends you know masks aren't just you know a health and safety thing it's also it's very much um it's a it's a it's a you know if you wear a mask you're seen as like virtuous and moral and you care about the health and safety it's a it's a social it's like a social thing there's a there's a stigma attached to it whether you wear one or not so, um so if you if you do wear one then you're seen as oh you care about others you protect others and if you don't oh you don't care about health and safety and yeah. that that the implications of that so somebody makes a choice right they're not mandated anymore and in a way it's worse because you know now that worse with regard to like you know people you know the conflict between people because now that it's not mandated people if they choose you know people will choose to still wear one and there's going to be this trend of like look i've chosen to wear one and that's the indoctrination that's you know come off like the, the government's like oh we're done here we've yeah. done it people are doing it to themselves and you know what if people want to wear one that's their right i'm not going to tell people not to of course but if you don't want to you know you know, they, they're not going to, but now people are going to look at you like, oh, so you're choosing not to now. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not mandated. Oh, so you were only wearing it because it's mandated. You didn't want to? Oh, well, uh, yeah, I guess I, I didn't want to. You didn't want to wear one? Like, <laughs> the people are going to, people yeah. are going to, you know, start turning on each other more and they're not even being forced to anymore. They can't use that as an excuse. They actually want to. Yeah. It's a complete, it's a complete, like, belief that they've formed because of the indoctrination that they've, or it's their belief, but they're pushing it so hard on others. Yeah, and and that's why it's it's so important to fight at the universities. Like, why are we why are we specifically targeting universities at the moment, right? Because if this this shit doesn't change, each generation from now on, it's going to be coming out masked, vaxxed, and compliant, and also yelling people at other people to put their masks on and you know get their jab, mm -hmm. right? So that's why it's so important to really hone in on the on the universities and and tell them no this this the whole narrative needs to needs to change the people need to realize that this is has been complete trick by the government and the institutions to play on us to take away our power and to take everything away now i wanted to find out um can we look into if um if china is uh, Im implementing vax pass and mask policies things like that because the way i see it is 
like going back to the five year plan, like what's happening in five years, what's happening in the next 10 years or so, mm -hmm. right? The way I see it is, is that Canada, the West, is, is heading towards the direction that we will be forcing ourselves to be compliant and to be nice to the government and the authorities because that's, that is virtue. Mm -hmm. And what's happening now in China with their social credit system is that people love it, right? It's, or, or, or their vaccination or their masking is, I believe in most, we're gonna double check the information, but I believe in most places in China, there's no vax pass and there is no um, mask mandate. But 90%, 99% of Chinese citizens do it, despite, without being forced. They do it to themselves and they continuously enforce each other because one is going to, you know, um, is going to go to an institution and tell them, oh, that person was not wearing a mask or that person was not doing this. And, and that's what's happening in Canada now, that the neighbors are going to be telling on each other, oh, I think they're un unvaxxed, oh, I think they're, you know, they're not wearing a mask. And... It, the the citizenry will be forcing themselves. You don't even need the government to tell you the rules. They know the rules and they're going to be enforcing you on others. Yeah. The government's really like, my work here's done. Yeah. They did it. They did it. It's People don't realize how psychological this has been. A lot of people thought, oh, these mandates exist because of the, you know, the, the, the cases and because of, you know, the danger. But, you know, when the danger ceases, we, we know this isn't true, but, you know, yeah. a lot of people think that if the danger ceases, oh, they're going to lift them and we're going to be safe because we worked for that. But that's not <laughs> the case, you know. You don't think the government is loving this, that we're all turning on each other and that we're, you know, listening and complying to everything they say. Like, this isn't going to go away. Yeah. Yeah, so just getting that information about China. They don't have a vax pass in terms of... Um, traveling abroad but they're very strict on the non-domestic travelers so i mean travelers that are coming into china from other countries they have to be vaxxed they have to you know have all their documents so to speak but china's testing so they're not they're not asking for back proof of vaccination in order to travel anywhere but hey 99 percent of the population is going to be vaxxed is going to be disclosing and waving it around oh look i'm a good compliant citizen mm -hmm. And that's what's happening in Canada, and that's the way I see our future going. I mean, do you want a social credit system implemented? <laughs> do you want the government to...